It was only ever me and my mum. My mum died a few years back and I grew up up in Birmingham. At the end of the day, if you don't have anybody around you, if you don't have that family safety net, as I said earlier, if you don't have that family safety net, what are you going to do? Do you know what I mean? Think about your kids. If your kids didn't have you and something happened in their life, where would they be? They'd be standing right here next to me. Do you know what I mean? It's not, it's not, not everybody that's out here is out here for something that they've done. At the end of the day, do you know what I mean? You can be the victim of circumstance quite easily. Long story short, the flat got burnt down. At the end of the day, the, the, the main thing that I did wrong, I didn't have contents insurance. If I'd have had contents insurance, I could have got all my old passport, driving license, bank accounts, everything back. Without contents insurance, I'm fucked. But at the end of the day, how many 22 year olds fresh out of uni do you know with contents insurance? Do you know what I mean? It could happen to any one of your kids, simple as that. And if, you, and if they didn't have you as, as that, kind of, that kind of safety net that every kid relies on in those kind of situations, if they, ain't got that fa if they ain't got that safety net, there's nothing out here for them. There's nothing out here for them. As soon as, you, as soon as you've got no ID, no passport, no driving license, no bank account, you don't exist. Simple as that. I mean, I had to fight to get hold of my birth certificate, and a birth certificate isn't even a piece of ID properly. Do you know what I mean? Even with my birth certificate, I still can't cash a cheque. Do you know what I mean? I still can't, I still can't open a bank account. Even if, even if I had the 83 pound that I need for my passport, where am I going to get it sent to? Do you know what I mean? They, this, they, these are all the things that you don't think about at the time when you're the person walking past thinking, oh, you're just a twat. You know what I mean? There's a reason you're there, it's because you're a cunt. You know what I mean? You're just, on, you're just on drink, you're just on drugs, you know what I mean? You fucked your life up to the point you're there. That ain't the way it works. Okay, I'll, don't get me wrong, some of the time it is. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not, defending, I'm not defending everybody. But surely that 1% of people that aren't out here for our own, do you know what I mean, for our own fault, surely that 1% should be given a chance in the same way as anybody should be given a chance. As I say, I've been homeless 18, 19 months. And just in Coventry, which is a fairly small place, there's been four people that have died in one year. One year, that's four people. How many homeless people do you think there are in Coventry? There ain't many of us left. The only nights really that I get in properly is when I go and save up enough over the course of about a week to get a bed and breakfast for one night, get one shower, get my clothes clean in the sink, get them dry, and that's it. Do you know what I mean? I'll, I'll go and get a cup of tea, do whatever I can. When the police come down and move me along, obviously I have to move along and, and just generally walk around and come back. That's, that's it, you know what I mean? If I had anywhere better to be or anything better to be doing, I'd be doing it. But at the end of the day, until the MPs come back with something for me, or until the law centre, until the citizen's advice, until somebody or until, do you know what I mean, until something comes out of all of the work that I'm putting in. The problem is, is that all, all the time when people see me sat in my subway, they're thinking, you're doing fuck all. But the problem is that they don't see that a lot of the time I'm off different places, putting the work in, do you know what I mean, like sending the letters, making the phone calls. The problem is, is that every one of these letters that you send to an MP, they've got 28 days to reply to. 99% of the time they'll take 27 of those days. Do you know what I mean? What am I supposed to do in the other 27 days? Do you know what I mean? What, what can you do? There's only so much you physically can do, that's it. If you're doing drugs or if you're doing drink or if you've been a long-term alcoholic, more to the point, you're not safe to be out in minus anything, never mind minus 18, 19 that it's been. So obviously if I put one needle in my arm, I'm therefore then going to be an addict, aren't I? Therefore then I can walk and get in, whether or not housing benefits willing to pay the rent or not, because I'd be classed as a vulnerable adult but because there's nothing wrong with me, because I've got an education, because I'm not on drink and I'm not on drugs, I'm safe to be out here. Do you know what I mean? What, what, what kind of society is that? Because I'm, because I'm one of the few people that are gonna go into these hostels and gonna be willing to work and get back out of them and get back off the benefit system, I'm not eligible. Do you know what I mean? Whereas the majority of the people that are in there, you'll find are on drink, on drugs, and I've got no, no intention of ever getting off them and no, no intention of ever actually joining proper society that I was part of in the first place. The only reason that I don't resort to those same drink, that same drugs, is because I've still got some form of hope of getting my life back. The majority of these people that are on the drink and are on the drugs have got no hope of getting any form of life back. <laughs> I say maybe it's just karma, maybe I just walked past one too many homeless people myself. Because at the end of the day, before all this happened, I was in every position to help somebody like me and I, I never did. 
Do you know what I mean? I, I, I had the same misconceptions and the same preconceptions that other people do. As I say, maybe it's just karma.